Welcome back, if this is indeed a new video. If it is not a new video, uh, let's continue. You'll have to forgive me, I don't have a ugh, terribly uh, large amount of time for this kind of thing, which is a huge reason why I haven't been um, producing very much at all. Hello, please walk forward. But, um, hopefully this is something. This is something I wish I could still do. Um, I cannot devote a lot to video editing and planning out my videos and oh this video is going to be this length and this one's going to be this length so um, please bear with me and um, I really hope you do like it though. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. <gasps> is this code a solution to his... Follow the instructions carefully. Take care that you remember each step. Alright. Again, the whiteness. Actually, now that I think about it, this is all whiteness, but then the space between the doors is all blackness. Interesting. Follow the instructions carefully to blah, 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 blah. First, click on this table. Oh, you dots. You men <laughs> menacing, menacing dots. I see what game you're playing. Got my eye on you. All three of them. First, click on this table. All right, I'll remember, table. Bye, table. Good, go over to the uh, photo, uh, photo frame and click to turn it slightly. I haven't actually recorded in ages and my voice is starting to die. Photo frame. Now, turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Alright, table, photo, light. Now go to the left side sofa, move it over a little bit. Left side. Alright, alright. Finally, touch the shelves. That's it! In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. All right, so this isn't a prison. This is a tutorial of a prison. This kind of tutorial or instruction actually seems like it should be a playable game that Coda meant to share. I mean, it's not like he would include this for himself. Return. Beat me up, Scotty. Oh, okay. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. No, he's right, actually. Oh! Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the what? outside is the inside. Oh my god! Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. No, 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 slower! You slow really it. unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Dude. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. What? Nothing but blackness, all right. I'm gonna pause so that you know I'm talking about stuff so that you can skip ahead to when I'm moving if you don't want to hear this stuff, but uh... All right, so Davy thinks he's spiraling out of control, and he should be thinking to himself, there are other games and, and other game development ideas that I could be working on. I think that Davy's got the wrong idea at this point. When I think back to some of the other stuff, D Davy's got some conflicting ideas. Um, sometimes, sometimes he thinks that Coda's game development is very personal 
and a kind of a cathartic outlet for him to express what's going on inside him. And then other times, Davy's like, this should be functional. This should be playable. This is blah, 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 blah. This isn't a complete game. Um, uh, and w- which seems like what he's doing for this level with the multiple, for the, for the multiple prisons and stuff. He's kind of taking a, like, double-headed stance in this case where he's saying that, oh, Coda's spiraling out of control here. I'm not sure if I would say spiraling. It kind of seems like he's spiraling because Davy is, is flipping through the levels so quickly. But me personally, I'm trying to think of how did... I. I think Davy's a little bit biased. Actually, it just came to that conclusion. But I'm look, trying to look at his levels as what Coda intended them to be. And a lot of times it seems like Davy is fast forwarding through really important mechanics um, or aspects of the things that Coda has created. So he flashed through those different prison levels and uh it 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 kind of when you do it that fast yeah you you get the sense that he's spiraling out of control but what if each one of them was a separate sit down i'm going to create it like this and they're very very similar maybe he's experimenting with trying to find the right order of like furniture and and having the well outside and having the well inside and having it upside down maybe he's just experimenting and trying to find one that he likes maybe it is a lot more personal and each one of them was made and you look at them collectively that he's very confused but spiraling out of control sounds like a very 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 drastic interpretation of it and I don't think it's fair I'm a little I'm very wary and I'm very cautious when Davy says that that that's his interpretation and now now Davy is saying this is the last and final prison level but he also said that there's no prison in it oh chapter 9 escape I don't, I don't know. Is this all one game that Coda actually compiled and all of these were created to go together and this was the last one? Or were all of them created separately? Because if they were all created separately, maybe this one didn't even belong with all the other prison levels. Continuing. Hedges, trees, outdoors, night, and the now very regular lamp post lit, I might add, that's indicating that this is the destination. Right here is the objective of the entire thing. This is where you were meant to be led to. Was that giggling? I swear to God. Giggling? Really? Phone booth. They don't even have these anymore, do they? I think they used to have these in major urban cities, like maybe Chicago and like New York City. Um, But I don't think they have them there anymore. I have never actually seen a phone booth in person. And I'm not that young. Oh, balls! I want to turn! Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me! I'm you from after you escaped the prison! What? Am I talking to my past or future self? I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Okay, I'm talking to myself from the past, from... I don't know, that gray jail-like area where you stuck for an hour? You're me? 
so you were trapped in this prison too? Yep, I was in the furniture maze. It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. That's a really good reminder to have, that all of this is Coda talking to himself. Um, okay, I was wrong. So it's not talking about the, the prison block. It's talking about the prison in the room and the furniture. Uh, I was in the furniture maze. I was in the reverse prison. What was the reverse prison? I don't remember. So I'm just going to say I was in the furniture maze. Uh, yeah, fur furniture maze. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? This is a conversation he's having to himself. So which role is he taking? Is he is he currently taking the like right right when he's making this? Is he the person who's asking his hypothetical future self, how do I get out of this? Is he thinking, I wish I could talk to myself in the future to find out the answer for what I'm going through right now? Or is he the person that's already escaped and he's looking back? Is Coda looking back and saying, I wish I could tell my past self that everything's going to be okay, that I'm going to survive this. That... I'm gonna find a way out. Which one do you think he is right now? Actually, I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. It's strange, but in a way I kind of miss being in the prison. Or, it feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. For some reason, I want to say that, sadly, most of the time, for most people, uh, when they get out of the prison, when they're in this horrible predicament, when when they're they're trapped and they're going through something really, really hard, they are desperate for a way out. They want to escape, and when they finally do, after a little bit they start to forget how desperate they were when they were in the prison. So I'm actually going to say I'm already forgetting what being in the prison is like. Really? How long has it been since you got out? Years. Like, I've been standing right here working up the nerve to call you. Or only a few minutes, but somehow it's already fuzzy. Kind of like it never happened. I'm gonna go with number two. But this is the worst, most desperate thing I've ever been through. How could you possibly forget? Oh my god! So, I actually have a tattoo on my right forearm. And... It is a stylized writing of Don't Forget, that's what it says, and it's actually uh, tattooed after the inside of Ed's pocket watch from Full Metal Alchemist. I think it's Brotherhood, but I think it's in both the original and Brotherhood. So inside his pocket watch, he wrote himself a reminder, Don't Forget. And this is basically the exact same reason that I have that tattooed on my forearm is because uh, I've been through some difficult situations that felt like I would never make it through or never get out of or never find a solution to. And eventually I found a way out, but I don't want to forget what I what it was like. So, 
But this is the worst, most desperate thing I have ever been through. How could you possibly forget? Haha, <laughs> I promise. It's not as bad right now as you think it is. Or two, you don't ever forget. You just stop identifying with it. Or three, anything can seem infinite when you're drenched in it. You know, I think that saying, haha, I promise it's not as bad right now as you think it is, I think that that is such an injustice. You're invalidating the feelings that you were feeling at the time, and that's not fair. Uh, so I'm gonna say you don't ever forget, you just stop identifying with, with it. I think that's very true. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? <gasps> Oh, man. So basically, this person that's standing here right now, I'm going to say this person who's talking on the phone is present tense me, and then the person on the phone is past tense me. So it's asking me if I'm actually another past tense. Oh, my God. This is like inception. Okay. No, I think I'm the first person to call you back. Or yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. So basically, am I right now talking to you the end result of our hardship? Or an infinite loop of, yes, I got a call, that's how I escaped the problem. I'm gonna go with one. Then can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? impossible. Ah, time loops and paradox. To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. To get out, you need to tell me how you feel right now. To get out, just talk with me for a bit more. Um, I have a hard time not taking these kinds of things seriously, so... To get out... All you have to do is be sincere. What? That would free me? How does that even work? Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Or, just be sincere. Or, it will make sense. Uh... I'm gonna go with one. I am giving myself instructions from the future. Sincere about what? That's exactly what you need to figure out in order to escape. See, I'm helping myself. Good advice. Ha ha. Aww. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. I like that. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Wouldn't that be nice? Thank you, Coda. You just eloquently summarized everything that I was trying to... So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? 